Hello and welcome back to goldstocktrades.com. Today we have with us a special guest, Chris Bogart, President and CEO of Standard Graphite. Standard Graphite can be traded as SGH on the Venture Exchange. Thanks, Chris, for being here with us today. My pleasure, Jeb. Thanks for having me. The graphite sector is heating up and Standard Graphite has really uh, outperformed the sector. What do you attribute this success to? over the past few weeks? Um, really, I think we've been fortunate with a, a combination of events that have really helped us um, you know, unlock some, some valuation here in the last, last few months. Um, and that combination of, of um, reasons would be primarily uh, fantastic early exploration results uh, based on our program that we launched in late uh, 2011. Uh, we've started seeing the fruits of our, our early exploration come in, and the results have been outstanding. Uh, that combined with new investor interest into a sector that is um, not only new but really doesn't have a lot of um, a lot of companies within within our, our genre. So, uh, very few companies, new investor sector, excellent results. Um, you know, have really created this uh, this movement over the last sixty days. So why is graphite getting so much invest, investor interest? Well, I think it's like anything. You know, it just takes a, a certain cycle for people to become aware of it. And you know, I think the investment community is well aware, um, very well versed in the global commodities boom. They've watched it in gold, copper, silver. Um, they've watched it in the specialty metals with uranium, lithium, rare earths. And now it's just graphite's turn. It was a little bit behind the curve. Um, but really, it's just a, a, a part of that bigger uh, commodity super cycle. And now that it's it's back and it's garnering some attention, uh, primarily because of a couple, you know, early stage, um, uh, well, not advanced stage companies that had great success in the market. And you know, returns for investors usually co creates awareness. And we've seen some ph phenomenal returns as, as of late. And that's really been the, the key to driving the investor awareness. Right, and with that investor awareness, there's been you know new graphite companies coming onto the scene, and investors need to make a decision. You know, which graphite company do I choose? What yeah. makes Standard Graphite stand out? Uh, well, that's a great question, Jeff. And I think you know, investors who don't know anything about graphite should just go back to their investment criteria that they hold. You know, important to them like any other sector hold the graphite sector up to those standards and then within that you know you'll probably whittle your 20 choices down to two or three and make a, an investment decision from there what are those choices well a you always look for management does this company have a team that has been successful in the past well whether it's graphite gold or technology you want to bet on a team that's had success in the past a standard graphite has number two um, building a good company is like building a good house. You need a foundation of structure. You know, does this company have a structure that will allow it, um, you know, to appreciate through its successful development of its plan? Standard Graphite has excellent structure, um, so you know the investors can participate in that. Uh, focus uh, on projects or sector. For Standard Graphite, we are only involved in graphite exploration. We have 12 properties. Uh, all 100% owned within the company, so we provide investors obviously leverage and uh, you know to to a large portfolio of flake properties in some of the best mining jurisdictions in the world uh, for graphite exploration. Um, and then really, what you're doing at that point, Jeb, is you've got the foundations of you know an investment decision. The next one is really you know again the geologic assessment of the projects, and most of the investment community out there is incapable of making those um, those decisions you know not that they can't be educated and learn about it but really what they're buying is our experience of our team who have done it before and they're betting that our team will do it again talking about the team can you tell us what it's like working with Antoine Fournier uh, who was instrumental in discovering the lac knife graphite deposit yeah well it's been great because really you know, uh, Antoine is not a geologist 
who has to go through a learning curve into graphite. He he knows it well. Uh, he knows the parameters, um, you know, the geologic parameters we need to have a successful uh, graphite deposit. Um, so really, we're hitting the ground running, leveraging on all his experience in the past. So it's been it's been a real learning curve for me as well, and it's been great having somebody with that experience to help lead the you know the exploration efforts for the company. Let's talk about some of the EM electromagnetic survey results um, that came out of Ontario, uh, especially the Black Donald and the Little Brian uh, EM results. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely, and the best way to summarize that, I mean, those EM results uh, really were exactly what we were hoping for when we started our EM program as a primary tool of exploration, and that, that primary tool of exploration was going to help us take our 12 properties and eventually whittle it down to one flagship asset that we can develop, and it's helped do do that for us. Little Brian was the first one we released the results on, and if your readers will, uh, you know, just reference um, the map that we provided on our website of Little Brian, you know, we were hoping really to see the extensions of this um, known graphite zone through the conductor. What we found was a twin conductor, longer, more continuous, a mere one kilometer to the north. So obviously very exciting results and, and, and has really trebled the uh, prospective graphite exploration ground on that one project. Black Donald was another project, of course, that we just released the results on that the market really seemed to uh, get excited about, as well they should. You know, the Black Donald property was a historic mine. It was reputedly the richest graphite mine in the world when it was in production. And we own all the ground surrounding the Black Donald mine. The exploration hypothesis is where you find one graphite mine, you will find more. We had known graphite zones all over the property, and the EM was really going to help us determine uh, where our uh, exploration efforts should be focused and do these graphite zones extend. And the results were amazing. We have over 10 kilometers of strike identified. On the back of that, we acquired two properties in order to consolidate a land package. And we're looking forward to getting on the ground in the spring in April and starting to develop that target as well. And that's just Ontario. We haven't even heard yet about Quebec. I understand that you guys are doing some current work in Quebec. That's right. So all of our EM data in Ontario is completed. We have completed all of northern Quebec. Your, um, your audience can expect to see the results of that shortly. Um, and we will be completed the southern Quebec properties, but uh, we asked me Friday of next week. Wow, it's a really exciting time for Standard Graphite, and thanks, Chris for being here with us today. Great. Thanks for having me, and um, good luck to your readers in, in uh, discovering and investing in the, the graphite sector.